Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you so much for watching this channel. In this video, we will understand what is the difference between SOC 2 and ISO 27001. What are the differences between these two important frameworks for your understanding? Anyone who is new to ISO 27001 or SOC 2, please watch this video very carefully. We will understand in depth what is the difference between ISO 27001 and SOC 2. So stay tuned and watch very carefully. Thank you. So SOC 2 is basically relying on trust services principles and trust services criteria. If you have watched the previous videos on SOC 2, you must understand that by now. So system is protected against unauthorized access, both physical and logical under SOC 2 security. Okay. There are five different categories of trust services principles. We have already discussed in the SOC 2 videos. However, uh, this is about SOC 2, whereas ISO 27001 is basically nothing but a management system, uh, information security management system, so that you know you follow the best practices in your organization in terms of information security, and you manage uh, the information security of your organization by following the ISMS. So now let us understand more in depth. So SOC 2 is basically a set of audit reports. Why it is important? Because it shows as an evidence that the level of conformity to a set of defined criteria, which is nothing but trust services criteria, is being managed by a service provider. However, ISO 27001 is a standard, globally recognized standard, that establishes requirements for information security management system for an organization. Okay. So ISO, since it is globally recognized, it is international in nature, as far as the geographic, geographical applicability is concerned. However, SOC 2 usually requires only uh, in the United States and applicability by the industry ISO 27001 is designed to be used by organization of any size or industry however SOC 2 is basically used for service organizations because you are providing services most commonly used by technology based service organizations okay because well, by the service providers for compliance uh, ISO certificate issued by the ISO certification body and for SOC 2, there has to be attestation by a licensed certified public accountant, CPA. What is it for? ISO 27001 is basically defining, implementing, operating, and controlling, and improving the overall security of an organization. However, a SOC 2 basically ensures that a security level of systems against static uh, principles, uh, the services principles, and criteria is being performed by an organization. So, Almost something repetitive here. ISO 27001 has compliance with global industry standards. Successful engagements results in certification. You get ISO 27001 certification. You get ISO 27001 certified. Okay. When you get audited. Includes specific requirements around documentation and policy. Contains 93 Annex A control recommendations. Is flexible to meet your organization specific environments. Keeps your information security management system up to date. I think this is very self-explanatory. SOC 2 is more common for consumers that live in the US. We have already seen that. Successful engagement results in a report, SOC 2 report, can be obtained as type 1, type 2. We have already discussed that. What is type 1, what is type 2? Uses AICPA criteria, test services criteria, and test services principle to test the controls. Reports for SOC 2 can be distributed to your organization stakeholders. Okay. Ensures controls are appropri appropriately designed to mitigate risks. Here again, definition is there. Set of audit reports shows the level of conformity to a set of defined criteria and uh, US standard, international standard, certifying body, CPA firm. And duration is very important, which is mentioned over here. It takes six to 12 months initial attestation. Annual re attestation is also required. However, ISO 27001 is valid for three years. Okay. And annual audit is also required. Okay. So, uh, you know, service organization industry for, for any industry most co commonly technology based for SOC 2 
difficulty to achieve ISO 27001 is very high. Okay. So SOC 2 basically provides evidence that security for systems in scope meets basic test principles criteria. And ISO 27001 provides system for identifying, minimizing, and managing security sets to information assets. Okay. Scope ISO 27001 covers the entire ISMS. SOC 2 covers only the system and controls related to trust services principles. Audit process we have already discussed. Requirements we have already discussed. Certification we have already discussed. International recognition we have already discussed. Focus on focus is important here. Focus on information security management in the case of ISO 27001 because you, you are trying to follow information security management system. Whereas for SOC 2, the focus is on data privacy and availability of data. Again, some sort of differences here. SOC 2 is applicable to systems, ISO 27001 is applicable to ISMS. Audit result we have already discussed, attestation versus certification. Geographical elements we have already discussed. Nature of audit we have already discussed. Where type 1 is basically to make sure that the design of the control is there. However, type 2 is there to make sure the controls are effective. Okay. And uh, nature of audit for ISO 27001 is basically to make sure that ISMS, which, have, which you have defined for your organization, is operating effectively. Okay. So SOC 2 audit reports are generally very much descriptive in nature and ISO 27001 audit finding reports also accomplish with the certificate as well. Uh, end use restricted because of nature of information shared in the type 2 report. However, there is not such a case for ISO 27001 and uh, time to complete is there. Renewal timelines is there once a year for SOC 2. And for the ISO 27001, once every three years. Okay. So ISO 27001 is basically a standard which formally specifies requirements for establishing, implementing, maintaining, uh, maintaining and continu continually improving an information security management system within the context of the organization. However, SOC 2 is nothing but a reporting framework which attests to the independent assessment and testing of controls implemented to ensure selected trust services criteria are met for organization provided services in the scope okay so purpose what is the purpose of implementing ISO 27001 provide system for effectively identifying minimizing and managing security related threats to information assets and SOC 2 reports provides evidence and security for systems in scope meet basic trust principle trust services principle and trust services criteria Geographical applicability we've already discussed, industrial applicability we've already discussed, certification body already discussed, duration also we have discussed. Choose SOC 2 if your customers have specifically asked for it. Choose ISO 27001 if you are looking for an international accepted information security compliance. Choose SOC 2 when your customers are primarily based out of America. And choose ISO 27001 if you have global clientele. If the requirement is immediate, if the requirement is of, of the essence and you can spend 6 to 24 months getting compliant. So here you, you see that you get SOC 2 very quickly, 6 to 12 months. However, ISO 27001 takes a lot of time for getting compliant. Okay. Again, it depends upon the scope of the organization, company to company. But this is what it is. If you want in-depth report of your security audit, you go for SOC 2. And if you go for ISO 27001, you get a stringent audit. Okay. Choose SOC 2 if you already have ISMS in place. Very good thought. And choose ISO 27001 when you want to set up a robust ISMS. Okay. So I think the last one is very important. Choose SOC 2 when you have already implemented ISMS because these two are very different things. Okay. Don't get confused here. Scope we have already discussed. Entire organization for ISO 27001. Audit process third party auditor okay requirements iso 27001 contain, contains a comprehensive set of controls and requirements that need to be accomplished however soc2 has just services principles and criteria certification already discussed international recognition already discussed focus is already also discussed okay this is again duplicate information presentation 
requirements to find out the money has to go to the ground. Flexible claim work with trust principles can up to compliance ratio rates less than CPA. Yeah, more or less, we've already covered the entire thing. It's just a repetition of what we've already discussed. This thing is important. Uh, framework. Okay. So let us discuss about framework here. So ISO 27001 provides a framework that organizations can adapt to their specific needs. So as per your requirement, you can tailor ISO 27001. However, SOC 2 is different. SOC 2 is based on the test services criteria. Okay. Applicability, we've already discussed. Reporting, we've already discussed. Okay. That's it for this video. I know a lot of information was repetitive, but I just wanted to make sure that I do not miss out anything for you, especially in this video. But I hope after watching this video, you have a lot of clarity now regarding the differences between SOC 2 and ISO 27001. Thank you so much for watching. Still, if you have any questions between the two, uh, how are they different? Feel free to add in the comment section. Thank you. And I'll be more than happy to respond back.